Today I want to talk to you guys about this microscope for your phone. Yes, this, this little device attaches onto your phone camera and it'll go up to 150 time magnification. So it's like a microscope for your camera phone. Uh, really, really cool. Now the company did send me this product for review, but they wanted me to show you what it is and how it works. So let's take a closer look. Here's some information about it first. Uh, Apexel is the brand. It's the Phone Micro 550X. Uh, instant sharing, no app needed, high resolution, quick installation. On this side here shows the, again, the 150 magnification, lens structure, four elements, blah, 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 coding, uh, inputs, a five uh, volt, one amp. It, it has a, a rechargeable built-in thing to it. I'll show you that. The capacity, battery, the lifetime of two hours. Okay, here's what you're gonna get in the package. You do get instruction uh, manual and it does come with a bunch of different languages here. A little cleaning cloth. You get these little pads. These are like a little, uh, little adjustment pads to make sure this thing fits well. You are gonna get a, uh, a power cable. Now this has the USB-A on one side. You, had, you do need a little power brick or someplace to plug it into. And USB on this side. And then you're gonna get um, a little case, a nice little carry case for it. And this here is the main unit itself. Now this thing is pretty cool. There's a, a lot going on here. Um, you can actually take the camera part off. So this is the camera part here. Uh, you have your plug-in for your power to charge this up. And you have a button here and a button here. This has to do with turning it on and also for the, the you know the light. So if we, we click that button, you can see that a light comes on. And then if we click the bottom button, changes. So you have light split, split, a different kind of light, like a little UV light, and then more of a warm light, split, and then a bright light again there. And then you can turn, hit that button to turn that off. The lens part of it's all in here. Now this button was the one that released it from this holder. And then you got the holder, which is nice. So you got a little screw here so you can slide this back and forth. It's very adjustable. And then on this side, you have um, a spring loaded type of thing so you can put it over the phone. Just kind of like a phone holder, but in reverse, this holds on to the phone. Now, let me show you what it's like on a phone. Now, my phone here has three different lenses. Now, some phones have more, some have less. Uh, what you want to do is you actually want to um, find your main camera because your main camera is the one that you want to put this over. And the way you do that is you just turn your, your app on and you hold your finger over the lens and if it's covered then and you can't see anything, that's your main one. If you hold it over the other one, it's not because you know a lot of these phones, they'll, they'll have a, um, a, a telephoto lens and they have a widescreen lens and then they have the uh, a standard lens on there. So you wanna find your regular lens and then this part here, it just clips onto the back of your phone and you want to adjust it so it fits right over the top. So you take this off and you want to adjust it so your lens, and hopefully you can see that, your lens is right through the hole and then clip this down and then snap that into place. For reference, this is a Samsung S20 FE, so it's a little bit older, but it has a ginormous case on it. So uh, to show you that this actually will go and clip on large phones with large cases. Okay, I have this on my phone now. My middle camera is the one that I needed to. I turned the light on and I opened up my app. Now I just opened up the regular photo app in just the uh, the the regular, you know, one times. There's no nothing else because if I start if you start. Um, going into zooming it starts messing up with other things and you don't want to do that so you want to just go to the standard and and i put this right down on top of the on top of the the, the table you'll see what happens and that's kind of like where the focus point is is all the way straight down so that's the table that's a close-up look at the table i'm going to take a photo of that uh, let's go to video will it work on video yes it does so now i can take a video and I can slowly move around, and that's what the table looks like. This wood grain table looks at like at 150 magnification. It's crazy. Now again, you can't really go. Yeah, you can go a little bit in further. That's actually pretty pretty crazy. You can go really really deep on that one. Uh, that's wow. Okay, so you can do the zoom right the photo yeah i guess you can zoom in on the photo too so that is cool uh, uh let's see if this one has any oh here we go let's let's do the fabric i'll show you this one 
zoom in three times. That's what the fabric looks like there. 9.7. Okay, I'm going to record. We're going to take this is what the paper towel looks like. Let's go in and see how far we can go into the paper towel. Looks like 12 times into the paper towel. Wow, that's crazy. So there you have it, a closer look, like literally a closer look at this microscope for your phone camera. Really cool and kind of interesting. Uh, be careful what you're looking at because you might be seeing things you don't want to see. Uh, this thing works really, really well. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go and, and look at at all kinds of stuff just to see what it's like. Uh, really, really cool if you're looking for something like this. This one might be the right one for you.